I don't know. I don't know. And those of you that are sending money to these agencies, like, like you need to know where you're sending money because some of these monies ain't reaching the people that need to be reached. At this point, people need to get off of Abaco. That's what they need. They don't, they don't, they don't, do all this other stuff that y'all doing, they don't, they need to get off of Abaco. There is nothing there. There's no shelter. There's no roof over people's head. There's no place for them to sleep. They need to get off the island. All this other, all this, all this other stuff that you're doing, it doesn't make any sense. People need to get off the island. There are dead bodies. The stench of death is everywhere. And if we don't watch out, there's going to be a disease that break out on the island. Just now I call one of my members, but I'm going to say I have one more flight. What time is it? I, what, 12 o'clock? They have one more flight today? One more? That means that little children got to sleep on the airport again? Why the hell you don't send a 737 that can hold up to 200 people? Why? Why? Shut down the whole thing. Get the people out of the island. Let people recalculate their lives. See if they can come to some state of normalcy somewhere else. If they want to go back, let them go back. But there's no normalcy in Abaco. There is no normalcy, man. While you laying in your bed in Nassau or Eleuthera or laying in your bed in Andres, these people are outside.